well inadvertently I think I deleted I didn't delete it but I stopped the video so this might be a two-part video the second part is gonna be my asparagus can you believe this this is asparagus you guys if you let it grow look at it it's like four feet tall it's almost as tall as me and I'm five foot <laughs> so this is what asparagus looks like um, you can see closer down here this is really what they look like let me see try to get some of this weed I haven't had a chance to weed work's been so busy so this is your asparagus it's not supposed to be this hardy unless you don't cut it so you can see here's other parts that I've cut and they just keep on coming but I need to actually have more than just two or three to make it worthwhile to harvest and eat. So I have some more over here along all the weeds. Okay, there's your typical asparagus. This is what it looks like. Can you see it right here? See, that's your asparagus. And when you harvest it, you can just cut it down there. And then you can munch on it. See? Kind of sweet. Raw. <laughs> Here's Zena. See if Zena will eat it. Zena will eat asparagus, but she likes it with butter. So that's some more asparagus growing right here. I'm just going to let it grow and seed and then produce more for me. But they've been growing all summer long. I mean, these are dried up stalks. I'm just pulling out from the ground. But I need to weed eat over here really badly. I have my tomato, which is at the end of its life cycle, but it's still hanging on. This is my mayor's lemon, which has bushed out considerably. And then look at all the new growth down below it. See, it tends to be more of a bush habit, but I want to train it into a tree. So you got to come in and you got to remove all of these so it doesn't put so much energy into them and it can put energy into all the other ones. I just usually use my hand and pick at them and they smell so good you guys. Like they smell like you just peeled a lemon or a lime. But see all those new growth and suckers that wants to come out? But I don't want it to concentrate um, its time and energy on these new ones I just want it to keep doing these the ones that are already big see it and then I have basil I think I'm gonna harvest some of this basil over here and then eat it with my I have a, um, a lavender balsamic glaze that I'm gonna try Ooh, that smells so good with the basil tomatoes and of course cheese mozzarella cheese. Look, Zena's hunting for something. I don't know what she found. But she's on the hunt. She is not an outdoor dog. <laughs> I don't think she knows first thing of hunting, but she tries. So this is my harvest for today. Very bountiful. Let me put these ones with them. Then you can see. But yeah. It wasn't very smart of me. I should have definitely got a basket or a bag. I usually just harvest one or two at a time. And then, you know, that I just bring it inside. But I didn't realize I was going to be harvesting so much still in the late fall. Um, but yeah, isn't this nice, you guys? You can do this. It's so easy, so simple. And look at what you get. If nothing else, you can decorate your table with it. <laughs> um... But yeah, they're so pretty. They smell amazing. I definitely would recommend this. You know, you can buy a, a small plant to begin with for $3. And for the whole entire summer, it produces like mad crazy. Like I, like I tell you, I haven't even picked enough of it. And it just keeps on growing and producing. So I just want to show you that really quickly. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.